Technology is a great resource to use at home. If you have an iPad or a tablet or an iPhone or a smartphone, there are many great apps that you can use with your children. I want to share just a few that we love using here at school. One of them is the counting board. And within this app, students are able to practice counting. They can cover up numbers as they go, like one, two, three, or they could find um, patterns in numbers. So that's just a great app that um, students really become more familiar with numbers. Another app is the Number Flash. And in Number Flash, there's, you can set different options um, to change the flash time or the, the amount of time offered for answering. And then when you start, it'll flash a number up. And then students will be able to subitize. If you want more information about subitizing, check out our subitizing video and it will show if it's correct or not. You can click the next one. And there's different levels, so you can select the difficulty of uh, skill. So that, again, is Number Flash. That's a great app. Number Bond Blaster is a fun one that works with composing numbers and decomposing numbers. And so it will show the missing number, and you will have the student will have to pick that two and one makes three. That We call this a number bond, and we use this a lot in um, working with combinations. Then you can check your answer, and then they'll say five, and they'll figure out the number that's missing, and zero. And again, there's different difficulty levels on this app as well. A great app is called 10 Frame Fill, and the concept and number of 10 is very important for our children and once they grasp that, that deep understanding of 10 will help them in all different aspects of numeracy. So 10 Frame Fill is um, working with students on combinations of 10. So again, they have to decide how many more they need to make 10 so they can fill in the missing spots, spots on this 10 frame and realize that there are seven missing. And then um, it'll give you more problems by clicking the, top, the 10 frame at the top, okay? And the last app I want to show you today is called GeoBoard, and this is going to help with students' geometry and numbers, or spatial reasoning. Students will be able to um, build different shapes, and then they could explain different attributes about those shapes as well. So, for example, we're just going to make a square. So these are some fun apps you can play with at home, your still children can explore with. And thanks for helping your children at home and serving as a great resource for them.